A project's life cycle from beginning to end consists of all the work required to bring a product to the market or to make a service or process operational. It has four stages and different processes occur during each stage of the project life cycle. Just as the life cycle of the project has stages, the project management processes are also divided into stages. These stages logically group together the project management processes that align to what is occurring in the project life cycle. The life cycle stages of initiating, planning, and closing align with the project management stages of the same name. However, the life cycle stage of performing and checking the work is divided into two project management stages. The executing project management stage is concerned with performing the work, while the monitoring and controlling stage is concerned with checking the work. The following are the project management stages that describe the project manager and team's activities and responsibilities as a project progresses. The initiating stage includes processes that help to start a new project or a new phase of a project that's already underway. These processes involve defining new ideas and obtaining authorization to proceed with the project or phase. The initiating stage results in the project charter. The charter contains the business case, high-level budget and schedule information, a high-level scope definition, and high-level risks. During initiating, the key stakeholders are also identified. The planning stage defines the plans and courses of action for a project. This group determines the scope and objectives of the project and helps to establish a better idea of project requirements. If necessary, alternative courses of action can be planned. Some significant items are identified or created during the planning stages. They include the project management plan, scope requirements, work breakdown structure, the schedule baseline including activities, budget, resource requirements, detailed risks, communication plan, procurement plan, and the change management plan. Processes in the executing stage relate to performing the work that's required to create the final output of a project, called the deliverables. They focus on managing the project team and communicating information to stakeholders. This stage typically uses up the most time and resources. You use processes that fall under the monitoring and controlling stage to regulate and control a project's progress. During this stage, you perform a risk reassessment and update the issues log. You also conduct performance measuring and reporting. Quality assurance activities are audited to ensure that they are aligned with the project guidelines. This is also known as project governance. Quality control is performed to verify that the deliverable is meeting requirements. You also check the budget and schedule against the plan. If necessary, changes may be requested in order to address any variance between project performance and the plan, or to update the plan. The processes in the closing stage aim to finalize all activities and contracts for a project or phase. The activities include transitioning the product over to the client or, for internal projects, integrating the project into daily operations. This includes training the client on the processes and procedures to maintain quality activities and deliverables. Closing processes also include project sign-off, archiving project documents, documenting lessons learned, releasing resources, and closing contracts. Projects can be organized chronologically and they can also be categorized by subject area. There are nine subject areas for project management. The subject areas relate to the management of project scope, time, cost, quality, human resources, communications, risk, procurement, and stakeholders. There is a tenth area called coordination, which as the name suggests, is the coordination of the other nine areas. The coordination area is the responsibility of the project manager and project team. This subject area is constantly called upon throughout the project as the project manager oversees the big picture and how the other subject areas can impact one another. The goal of coordination is to make sure all of the other subject areas work cohesively toward project success. 
As a project manager, you need to know what the stages of a project are and the best practices for applying each subject area. This is just an example of how the subject areas may interact with the project management stages. During the initiating stage of a project, the stakeholder subject area is active as you identify stakeholders and learn their expectations for the project. During the planning stage, all subject areas are active as subsidiary plans are being created to form an overall project management plan. During executing, project work begins. Several subject areas are active as you staff the project activities and start following the necessary processes and procedures to create your end product, service, or result. You are also communicating with your stakeholders, of course. During monitoring and controlling, you begin comparing work performance to the plan. All subject areas except human resources are active as you verify the work and make any necessary changes. As the closing stage begins, work winds down as you close procurements. As you may have noticed, the coordination stage is always active as the project manager oversees all project processes. So now you have a foundational understanding of how the project management processes are divided into separate subject areas as well as into stages. This understanding will equip you as you learn about each of the processes in more detail in future courses.